just about to get started at 125. Steve Polakowski for Minnesota and Kyle Larson for Iowa State and we're underway. Looks like the coaching staff decided to give Polakowski the uh, start here tonight. Skyler got it uh, last week against Illinois. They're still you know, trying to decide which, uh, which, who's going to be representative when we, uh, when we head to the Big Tens. Kyle Larson picked up a W by way of injury in his last matchup, part of a 28-11 home win over West Virginia for the Cyclones. Collar elbow tie up here. Steven's kind of got to get, you know, he starts a little slow sometimes, so I'd like to see him get after him here, use his hands, kind of move, move Larson around a little bit, create some action early. Polakowski, the redshirt freshman from Libertyville, Illinois. An 11 and 6 overall record so far. Kyle Larson's Record 20 and 12, a redshirt junior from West Des Moines, Iowa. Polakowski's doing a good job right now of, of, of moving forward. He's kind of, you know, he's stalking Larson a little bit here. Larson kind of really taking those long extended shots right now. And it's going to be tough to, at, at this level, finish many of those. Looks like Larson's been the more active between the two so far. Just over a minute left in the first three minute period. Those, those snaps by Polakowski right now, you know, they don't look like much, but you know, if, he, if he stays with that, those snaps really will wear on the guy. By the third period, Larson, you know, if, if, if Steven can keep this up, that, that back starts getting real tight, and the, the stance of Larson starts to straighten up a little bit, opens the uh, scoring opportunities for Steve a little bit more. Shoot there. Good job reattack there by Steven. Larson stumbled back a bit, regains balance. 30 seconds left in the first period. Yeah, so I mean, Larson's kind of lacking a lot of setups there. He's, he's just really kind of just throwing himself under there. And that, that little exchange we had a little bit ago, that was, you know, pretty good shot by Larson. And he got in pretty deep. So I like that Steven's able to fight that off. And he, he took one of Larson's best shots and, and kind of disposed of him and didn't, didn't give up any points that way. Larson already with six pins on the season. Certainly that attack can be lethal and end the match pretty quickly. Larson will start on top. Steven's got to keep knee sliding forward, get that knee, get his hips back underneath of him. Polakowski reaches his feet and gets the match's first point on the escape. Kept riding time down to just 14 seconds, too. That's a, a good start here. You talked about how even the team score may be. Talk about the individual match, how that riding time bonus can be a huge factor. Absolutely. I mean, if you can ride your opponent for more a minute more than he rides you, you get an extra point at the end of the match. So, you know, only giving up 14 seconds there, that will go a long way. As I, likely that Larson chooses bottom as we start the third. Halfway through period number two. Again, Stevens, he's going forward, but Larson's taking a lot more shots. He kind of listened to a little bit of the rumbling from the crowd. They're looking for stalling, but I don't think it's, it's definitely not there yet. Always a knowledgeable crowd, whether at the sports pavilion next door or here at Williams Arena. A passionate fan base for the program that Jay Robinson has built 
here in the Twin Cities. Another good misdirection shot by Larson. Now, Steven's kind of, he's got to answer those shots now. That's been three or four in a row by Larson. We've got we've to fire one off now. Just 10 seconds in period two to fire one off. And the horn will sound without any more action. So after two periods, it's Larson zero and Polakowski one. Larson now will start down, looking for a matching escape to level against Polakowski. See if you guys stay under those arms. Keep bumping Larson forward here. And keep his hips up on top. Going too far out will send Polakowski and Larson back to the middle. Crowd appreciates that riding. That's, I mean, he, that's not easy. He's working hard up there on top. I mean, Larson's doing everything he can to get out from the bottom. So it, it, it's not easy up there. Uh, so we've rode for 29 seconds right now. we got to ride for another 36 and we can get a riding time point. And Larson's going to get up and out of the way right, right away. Quick escape for Larson. Levels the match at one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see one, two more shots out of Larson. They're going to get a, a stall call on, on Steven. Polakowski with a strong grip on that. Nothing yet. He's, he's got a half in. He's got two. And we get the two for the takedown by Polakowski. Larson's up and out right away. A minute left. Quick escape, Polakowski leads three to two, 55 seconds in a decisive third period. Mac, where do you go from here knowing Larson's really yep. been the aggressor so far? Absolutely, Steven's gotta get to ties, whether it's an underhook, a, a, a two on one, something that, that he can look aggressive but control where Larson's going. He, he, standing from the outside here, he's allowing Larson to fire two, three, four, five different shots in. We've got to get to a controlled tie and hold position where we can, you know, limit uh, the chances. There. So that's, you know, stall call on Steven, one more, it, it'll tie it up. And it, and it wouldn't be unheard of in the last 18 seconds to see another one. Now down to 10 seconds. I think we're going to see another stall call if, if Steven doesn't do something. sounds without that stall call. Looks like the final score will be three to two in favor of Steve Polakowski. Gets the first win for the Golden Gophers and an opening three points.